So come and lie down and find a position where you can really feel comfortable there for a few moments. Knees could be bent and soles of the feet on the floor. Or you could spread out with your arms and with your legs into a more star-like position. Then take a deeper breath in and a deeper breath out. And if it feels comfortable, you can close your eyes. And just start to feel how your body feels here this morning. Notice which parts of your body are touching the floor. Notice how easy it feels to come and be still this morning. Some days it's easier than others. Then you may have already started, but we're just going to start here with a deeper abdominal breath. So you could have your hands on your abdomen if you like. And as you inhale, just expand your abdomen. Your lower ribs expand, maybe your lower back. And as you exhale, let that all sink back to center. And inhale to expand the abdomen. And letting it go. And just keep breathing like that at your own pace. Feeling the life and energy of the inhale. And the rest and relaxation of the exhale. Keep breathing down into the abdomen as you inhale. And out and away from the abdomen as you exhale. Three more breaths there. Abdominal breathing. Just noticing the abdomen rise and fall. Once you've done three, take a breath in through the nose and a breath out through the mouth. <sighs> take a moment to let your breath return to natural and normal. And then bring the soles of your feet to the floor. And we're just gonna start here by waving our knees from side to side. Really slowly, and it doesn't matter where your feet are, so you could experiment with having the feet wider or closer together. And that's just probably going to make it feel a little bit different on your hips. Eyes could stay closed. Just feeling that gentle rocking motion on the lower back and the sacrum. Keep going there for a few more moments. And then take your time, bring the soles of your feet gently underneath your knees. And then lift all 10 of your toes, spread them wide in the air and see if you can make your toes spread out a little bit more on the floor. And then as you're ready, Start to press down through your feet, engage your core, and without using the breath, come up as slowly as you can into a bridge pose. So it's really feeling the transition as you lift your hips and your vertebrae away from the floor. And then once you come up into bridge pose, take a moment there to feel the feet on the floor as you press the hips up and away. Pause and take a breath in and out. And then same thing, without using the breath, just see how slowly you can start to sink your hips and your spine 
back down to the floor, feeling the four corners of your feet pressing into the earth. Once the hips land, just take a moment to pause. Great, and you could stay with that. We'll do a couple more rounds, really slow, and you could add the arms in. So as you start to lift your hips, your arms are going to start to really slowly move, and eventually they'll land over the top of your head as your hips come all the way up towards the sky. So you're in this kind of lengthened bridge pose. See if you can relax your arms, but you're still pressing through the back of your head and your shoulders. Just take a moment there to pause, squeeze the glutes. Maybe take a deep breath. And then as you're ready, come down the opposite way. Just take your time, feel that active control as you bring the arms and the hips down. Now the arms are optional. You can leave them by your side if you like, but let's just take two more of those in our own time and really feel how slowly you could move. Like, could you slow it down any more? So you're feeling that transition, feeling the feet pressing you up into bridge pose. And same thing on the way down. It's probably gonna make it quite a lot harder moving slowly, but we're creating new pathways in the movement of the joints here, new neurologic information. Last one. Notice if your feet are wanting to lean onto one side, in or out, and see if you can really press through the whole of the foot, including the inner arch and the inner big toe, as well as the little toe. Take an inhale and exhale, and then when you're ready, we'll come down for the final time with the arms and the legs. And once your hips and arms are by your sides, an option to just stay still, or you could wave your knees from side to side. If you want, you could lift your feet off of the floor and hug your knees and take a little rock from side to side there too. And then grab a hold of your strap and um, we're going to try and grab the strap between our two feet. <laughs> knees can stay as bent as you like, but just lift your feet up towards the sky and it might look kind of really different to mine, that's okay. But then squeeze the strap between your feet. And watch out if the buckle with the me metal end is hanging down. And then reach your arms out to the side. They could either be in a cactus shape or they could be in a T shape. And then all you're gonna do is just start swaying your feet from side to side. And you can go really, really small at first. But as you keep going, Maybe you'll be able to go a little bit further over to the other side. We're just warming up the sides of the waist and the core. Maybe you're feeling some activation in the arms. And then if you like, you can make this into more of a circle. So it's like you're drawing a big circle over your body with the feet coming over your head, all the way back round. And then just, if you're circling, switch, switch ways. And then when you're ready, drop the strap, and squeeze your knees into your chest. Option to take a little rock from side to side. Just let the core soften. Take a deep breath in and out. And then when you're ready, we'll come up to tabletop so you could rock and roll on your spine or you could just roll to one side and make your way up. Um, an option to have something underneath your knees if you like having that. Have your strap or your sock 
hand deep close to your yoga mat. And then as you're ready, we're going to do some slow cat cows. So forget about the breath. Just start to move your body. And if you can, tuck your toes underneath behind you to feel a stretch through the feet. So just forget about your breath and start to move backwards and forwards. Slower than what your breath would move you like. Right, just take one more of those there. And then gently come back to what feels like neutral. And we'll warm up the shoulders a little bit here. So rather than cat-cow, we're going to do some shoulder sort of presses. So press the earth away and feel that your spine is probably going to round a little bit. But mainly feel that your shoulder blades are spreading on your back away from your spine. So if you press your hands, your shoulder blades spread. And then do the opposite. So start to squeeze your shoulder blades together like you had a pencil that you wanted to squeeze between them. And your, your torso is going to dip a little bit. And then just move between those two things a couple of times and try and make it as much about your shoulders as you can. So you're spreading and then squeezing your shoulder blades in this position. You might slightly engage your core so that the spine feels a little bit more um, still. And then let's link this with the breath. So as you exhale, squeeze the shoulder blades, and as you inhale, spread them and fill up the back. Two more, exhale to squeeze, inhale to spread. Last one. Really nice. And then as you're ready, walk your hands forward slightly so that you can come all the way down onto your abdomen. And then grab a hold of your strap and put it on your glutes behind you. So you're holding onto your strap. It can be really, really wide there. And then maybe you can bring your forehead towards the floor or look to one side if that feels better for you. Just take a slow breath in and out. Let the strap relax. And then as you're ready, start to press the tops of your toes down, press your pelvis down, squeeze your glutes. And then when you're ready, start to lift your head slightly away from the floor. And if you can, lift your hands away from your bum. Think about squeezing your shoulder blades there. And we're just going to stay for three. Tops of the toes on the floor for two. And then as you exhale, come all the way down and look over to the other side. And just take a moment to pause. And then release your strap, we'll keep it close to us. Press the earth away and come all the way up into downward facing dog, lifting your hips high, bending your knees as much as you like and dropping your head there. You might shake your head a couple of times to release your neck and take a couple of really slow and deep breaths there. Last breath in, and last breath out. Great, as you're ready, start to tiptoe your feet gently towards your hands and go really slowly so that you feel that transition, that movement. And then if you want, grab a hold of both of your blocks on their highest height setting. And as you inhale, think about getting a flat back, lifting your chest, and then as you exhale, rounding the spine, let that go. Once again, inhale, slowly lift your chest, lengthen your spine. And as you exhale, soften in. Last one, inhale, pressing through the feet to lift your chest. Exhale, softening as you bend your knees. And then slightly press into your hand so that you can step your right foot back in space. Right knee all the way to the floor. 
And let's inhale and reach our arms all the way up towards the sky. Spin your hands around and take a big circle with your arms. So an inhale to reach your arms up towards the sky. And an exhale to spin them around. One more of those. Breathing in. And this time as you breathe out, see if you can keep the hands behind you. There's no strap there now. So have your hands as wide as you like. And just think about lengthening your arms, reaching your chest slightly forwards and squeezing your shoulder blades to create that chest lift. See if you can stay for three, two, and one. As you're ready, gently bring your hands to your heart center. Gently turn your right knee underneath you. So now you're facing the side of your yoga mat. Left forearm to left thigh as you reach up and over with your right arm. Coming into a mini extended side angle. Maybe you think about spinning your chest open towards the sky and the ceiling. And just feeling what's there today. Take a few breaths. Feel that left foot on the floor, pressing down to keep you lifted up. And then as you're ready, Come back up through center, hands to heart. Gently turn your right knee underneath you. You could have some padding underneath there. Press the hands together so the elbows come wide. And then this time, just think about lifting your heart towards your hands and creating space over the fronts of your shoulders. Take a slow breath in and out. And then hands towards the blocks. You might need to move them back and use them to step all the way forwards and take a little fold over yourself. Inhale, round yourself up through your spine. Take your time to come all the way up to standing and then reach your arms up towards the sky. You could look up if you like, take a stretch through the back body and exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. And take a moment just to pause. If it feels nice and to have your hands by your sides, you're welcome to do so. Just notice, take a breath in and out. And then from here, really spread your toes on the floor. Try and feel the yoga mat underneath you. And then inhale, use those feet to press your hands up towards the sky, inhale. And as you exhale, start to fold it forwards, hands towards the blocks. Take an inhale to lift your chest and lengthen your spine. And as you exhale, we're going to step both knees back and move those blocks out of the way. So we can put our hands on the floor. Let's take one of those slow rounds of cat-cow. Inhale to start to, not inhale, sorry, just lift your chest. And then when you're ready, slowly start to round your spine. Great, and then walk your hands slightly forward so that you can come all the way down onto your abdomen. And same thing here, we're gonna grab the strap behind us. And it can be really quite wide. Press the tops of the toes down, press your pelvis down, engage your glutes. And then start to inhale, lift through the back of your hands through the backs of your shoulders and just come up as high as feels good and if you want you could do a little rock from side to side just to feel into the sides of your shoulders there if that feels accessible keep lengthening the spine lifting the chest take a breath in and then release the strap as you breathe out come all the way down press your hands into the floor and walk them back so that you can take a child's pose or just round your spine into cow pose, cat pose, sorry. Take a moment to pause. And then when you're ready, make your way back into downward facing dog. 
lift your hips gently towards the sky and really press your hands so that you lift your outer hips up and back and really if you want bend your knees generously here so that you feel space over the back of your body take a slow breath in and out When you're ready, start to slowly walk your feet towards your hands, bend your knees, grab a hold of those blocks again. And as you inhale, lift your chest, same thing as before, press through the feet to lengthen the legs. And as you exhale, fold over your legs. Two more, breathing in, lift and lengthen from heel to crown of head. And as you exhale, fold, let everything round and soften. The last one, breathing into love. And this time as you breathe out, set that left foot back in space, left knee to the earth. And let's inhale, reach the arms up towards the sky. This time, as you exhale, cactus the elbows, elbows in line with your shoulders. And same thing here, think about squeezing, could be a micro movement, the shoulder blades towards each other. Nice, so from here, we're gonna move through the arms. So inhale, we'll be here squeezing the shoulders. And then exhale, you're just gonna bring the forearms towards each other and feel those shoulder blades round. Inhale to open like a gate. And exhale to feel the shoulders come together. Let's move apart. <laughs> One more time, breathing in there. And breathing out. And this time, settle your hands at your heart center. Take a breath in. And then turn your left knee carefully underneath you, left foot out to the right, right forearm to right thigh. As you reach over with your left arm, mini extended side angle. Take a moment to pause, check back in with how you're feeling. Take another breath in. And then come all the way back up, hands back to heart as you face forwards with both feet. And this time, plug your thumbs into your chest. Think about lifting your chest and micro a micro amount as you press your feet into the floor. And then as you're ready, grab a hold of your block so that you can step it forwards and take a little fold over your legs. And then round all the way up to standing, really take your time to come all the way up. You might want to reach your arms up, lift your gaze, lift your chest, and then exhale, come into mountain pose. And again, <clears throat> take a moment to pause. Feel the heartbeat. Feel the feet on the floor. And then remove the blocks out of the way and grab a hold of one of your balls and we'll do our foot myofascial release. So put the ball down and let's start with the left foot. So left heel on the ground and I've got my left ball of my foot just on that ball there. And I'm just leaning my way in and out there. So I'm looking for a position that feels like I can hold and stay. <laughs> And quite often the heel, not the heel, the arch of the foot is linked to our diaphragm, the same kind of curve and also the lower back. So quite interesting how these connections inside of us can kind of translate to different spaces. So then when you found a spot that you can kind of stay in, lean your weight into that space and just stay for a few breaths. Think about relaxing your toes. You might deepen your breath.
and just feel all that's going on there in that foot, maybe that we weren't aware of before. Great, and then lean your way out a bit and you're just gonna rock from side to side. So it's like I'm drawing a little smiley face on the ball of my foot. Sometimes I like to move a little bit down towards the arch for this one. So it's not really on the ball of my foot. And you can roll right the way to the inside edge, right the way to the outside edge for this one. And again, you're sort of searching for a spot that you want to explore. For me, the middle of the arch of the foot is a good one. And so take a moment to lean your weight in in stillness, wherever you've landed, could be anywhere on the arch of the foot. Take a few slow breaths. Great, and then we'll continue. So we're not quite on the ball, but the, the, balls of the, the ball of the foot is on the floor. We're not quite on the heel. We're sort of just below the heel there, not on the sort of really hard bit of the foot. And you're just leaning your weight in and out there. Nice, and then move the ball all the way to the heel and do the same thing. For me, I find the heel a little bit sort of less sensation, but that's okay. And then just lean your weight in and we're just gonna rock from side to side on the heel as quickly as you can. It's kind of like you're doing a scribble on the heel, just uh, moving the ball really quickly around. Quite awkward sometimes. <laughs> nice, and then you could grab a hold of a wall if you like. We're just gonna roll in one direction. So roll from the toes to the heel and then tap it back again. Toes to heel and tap it back. So I'm just rolling up my foot from the ball of the foot to the heel there. And I'm trying to do like an even pressure that feels nice me. You can go right the way down the inside or outside or middle ridge of your foot. If you have no time and you just want to do a foot thing, this is a great one just for efficiency. Great, one more. And then we're just going to do a light scribbling all over. So I'm not pressing hard. I might hold on to something still. Just really light. Great. And then when you're ready, just come and stand on your two feet on a on your yoga mat there. And feet kind of underneath your hips. And maybe you can close your eyes there. And just feel into that left foot that we've rolled. Notice how the foot feels on the floor. How the arch of the foot feels. Notice your breath. And then when you're ready, we'll just do the same thing on the other side. So I'm placing my uh, right foot on the ball and I'm just putting my ball of my foot on the, on the ball. <laughs> And just leaning my weight in and out. And if it feels kind of painful or too tender, know that you can choose another spot. And then we're just going to try and find a spot that we can stay in and breathe. Gently breathing. 
In and out through the nose. As much pressure as you like, feeling all of those sensations in the feet. And then when you're ready, we're gonna do that little roll from side to side on the ball of the foot. You can also inch it down a little bit so that you're now kind of on the top of the arch, just below the ball of the foot. Might find that you travel forwards a little bit. And then come into the arch of the foot and do the same thing. Wiggle it side to side. And for me, I'm gonna pause where I feel is most helpful for me today. You can do the same. Take a few really slow breaths there. Great, and then we're just gonna keep going. My ball of my foot is now on the floor and I'm just rocking a little bit side to side on the heel. And then let's find that kind of rocking motion quite quickly side to side on the heel. Like you're sort of scrubbing the heel. Great, and then when you're ready, let's take maybe something to hold on to. And let's do those rolls from the ball to the heel and tap it back. Ball to heel and tap it back. Again, you can move down like each toe line of your foot. Do two more. And even pressure. And then finally, a light scribbling all over. Really light pressure. Just to simulate the whole of the foot there. Encourage some circulation. Great, and then you can let that ball roll off to the side. We'll use it at the end of class, but don't worry. And stand on your two feet again. And then really spread your toes. Lift the crown of your head up and take a moment just to pause. Take one more breath there, just really noticing. We're just gonna move into some really grounding foot focused postures. So. Gently lift your right knee up into your chest as high as it wants to go. Feel that left foot on the floor. Wobbling is okay. And then we're just gonna to start to send that right foot back. So you can tap the toe down if you like. We're gonna find a crescent lunge. So back heel is lifted if that feels okay. And back knee could be bent. Front knee, bent left knee. Hands at heart center. Take a breath in and out. And then once again, start to reach your hands behind you. You can have the thumbs facing in towards each other like you're holding a big tray. Squeeze your shoulder blades as much as you like. So it could be really active, it could not be. And then we're gonna move with the breath. So inhale here, and then exhale, round your spine and reach your arms forward, spread the shoulder blades. Inhale, open up through the arms, lift the wings. Exhale, round in. One more, breathing in. And breathing out, great. Let's bring that right heel to the floor, facing out and open it up for warrior two. We're gonna straight away bring that right hand down to the back leg, lift the left arm up, and just feel some length over the side body. Keep bending your left knee there. 
feel both feet on the floor, really pressing down so that you can reach up and away from the earth. Notice the body. And then take your time, hands at your heart center, feel the shoulders relax there. Turn back again to face the front of your yoga mat, crescent lunge. And then we're gonna see if we can step back into that front leg. So you could gently step one foot and then start to make your way back to lifting that right knee up into the chest. And we'll take tree pose. So externally rotate your right knee out to the side and the sole of your foot's gonna land somewhere. Could be toes on the floor or tree pose. And I'm gonna give you the option to keep your hands at your heart center. Or you could bring your hands behind you and grab a hold of opposite elbows there behind you. And that's just gonna feel the tops of your shoulders moving back in space there. If that feels like too much or it's wobbly, you can always release. Slow down your breathing. One more breath in. And slowly, feeling that transition, bringing that right foot down to the floor. Take an inhale, press the feet into the floor, reach your arms up. And as you exhale, fold it forwards. Bend your knees as much as you need to and just let yourself hang in Uttanasana, the forward fold. If you want, you could shake your head or your torso from side to side as you generously bend your knees. And then start to press your feet actively down to round yourself slowly up, feeling how the feet articulate against the floor. You could reach your arms up towards the sky and then let them hang by your side. Take a moment to pause. Maybe you close the eyes, feel the feet on the earth. And then let's lift that left foot up, same thing as the other side. Lift the left knee towards the chest as much as you like. You can hold on to something. And then we're gonna to start to send the left foot back. So you could tap the left toes on the floor, or you could see if you could just balance on your right leg as you come into crescent lunge with the left foot back. Hands at your heart center. Bend both knees if you like a little bit. And then as you inhale, reach your arms up, but really, really wide like you're carrying a big strap over your head. And as you exhale, bring them down, kind of like windshield wipers by your sides. So as you inhale, feel the shoulder blades kind of turning upwards and lifting as you reach up. And as you exhale, bring the hands by your sides. One more of those. Breathe in to lift, feel the expansion, feel the feet on the floor. Breathe out, bring them down. And then bring your hands back to your heart. Turn your left foot out behind you for warrior two. Reach your arms forwards and backwards. And then we'll reverse. So left hand down, right arm up, right knee stays bent if possible. And again, we'll take a moment to pause here. See if you can let your gaze settle somewhere so that you feel your body land in the moment. Take a breath in and out. And then gently bring your hands back to your center, heart center. Turn yourself to face forwards again. And we're gonna travel again to the front of our yoga mat. So you can step that left foot in in, in, 
and then lift it up towards your chest. And then externally rotate the left knee out to the left and come into tree pose, which might look really different to the other side. And then this time, if you like, you can try and hold your own hand behind you and try and squeeze the tops of the shoulders back slightly and feel again the whole of the shoulder girdle moving kind of back in space as you squeeze your shoulder blades, active through the arms, grounded through the feet. With all this going on, see if you can keep your breath soft and relaxed and your jaw soft too. Great, and then as you're ready, see how slowly you can kind of unwrap yourself and come back into mountain pose. Let your shoulders just hang there and let your eyes close if that feels okay. Take a slow breath in and out. Great, as you inhale, last time, reach your arms up to the sky. As you exhale, take a fold slowly over your legs. Grab a hold of your yoga blocks. As you inhale, lift your chest. And then take a big step back with both feet. And I'm going to give you the option to take a shoulder stretch here. So knees under hips. Hands could be on blocks on whatever height you like. Sometimes highest height is quite a lot, but you could try that. And then all you're going to do is start to shift your hips backwards as your head and arms stay reaching forwards there. And you can kind of walk your knees back a little bit so that you, and the head does not need to touch the floor, but it's kind of like this lengthening of the side body. And if it feels too much to have your hands on the highest height, then you can always bring them down. So it's kind of like a child's pose with an arm stretch. If that doesn't feel good, you can always just sit on your heels or come into child's pose. Take another breath there. And then slowly start to come up and into a seat whenever you feel ready and we're just going to take a little bit of myofascial release before we come down so grab both of your balls and we're going to do the upper traps which are some of my favorite spots so you'll need your block and both balls if you have a cork block like me you could put a blanket over the top and then you're just going to lie down on your back. And then from there, bend your knees and we'll come into a supported bridge. So you're just going to lift your hips, place that block underneath your lower back, your sacrum, really, so that your lower back can drape off of it. And then you're going to place, you're going to place one ball underneath the top of one shoulder. And then the other ball underneath the top of the other shoulder. So it's kind of like if I was looking at you from above, I would be able to see probably a little bit of the ball sticking out. And I find that good spots to work into are right close to the corner of the neck and the shoulder or kind of the middle of the top of the shoulder. But work what feels what, see what feels good for you. And then we're just gonna start here by dropping the tops of the shoulders down into the floor. Let all of that movement that we've done together gently settle down. And feel the feedback of the balls underneath your shoulders.
See if you can really soften your jaw, your neck. And you might come back to your abdominal breathing here. Feeling the abdomen gently rise and fall. There's a final option, if you like. You could reach your arms above your head, move them around, or you could even reach them over your head and find a moment of stillness. See if you can really soften your upper body. Take a final breath in and out there. And then when you're ready, start to gently move the balls out of your shoulders. Release your hips down to the floor. And then just give your hips a little sway from side to side and notice how your shoulders feel. If you want, you could give your knees a little hug into your chest. And then in a moment, we'll make our way down into Shavasana, our final rest. And if you do like legs up the wall, it can be a really nice position to be in, especially after we've done some foot work and some shoulder work. So if you want, you can put your uh, yoga mat next to your sofa or your wall, and you could have a little pillow for your head if you like to come and lie down into legs up the wall. So take anything that you need there, um, any warm blankets as you come to get really comfortable and cozy. any comfortable lying down position that feels nice for you. And we're gonna start here with a little bit of breathing. So as you lie down in whatever position you've taken, start to close your eyes. Feel the weight of your body gently on the floor. And feel the breath just softly coming and going. I'm gonna go for a Four count inhale and a six count exhale. So take an inhale there and an exhale. And inhale for one, two, three, four. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four. Exhale, six. Inhale, four. Exhale, six. Last 
Last one, inhale, four. And exhale, six. Let your breath go once you've finished your exhale. And completely allow your body to rest on the earth. Feel that as you let your breath go, you can allow your body to let go to into stillness, into relaxation. Your mind is feeling busy or full, just allow it to rest with your body, all of the sensations you're feeling.
very gently and slowly start to make your way back to your body. Maybe through a couple of deeper breaths. Some gentle movement of the fingers and toes. Taking as much time as you need to allow your body to move in a way that feels good for you. And then whenever you feel ready, take a squeeze of your knees or a roll to one side. And gently make your way into a seat for a moment that feels comfortable. Maybe supporting yourself against the wall. or a chair. And let's gather the hands at the heart center. And think about, once again, sinking the pelvis, lifting the sternum towards the hands, the chest bone. Feeling that space across the shoulders, the fronts of your shoulders. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And let it go through a sigh. Take a gentle bow into your body as a gesture of thanks for everything it does every single day. And then rub your hands and generate some heat and place your soft, warm hands over your eyes. Maybe a little face rub before you blink your eyes into the open light on a sunny day. <laughs> and I thank you for being here and practicing with me. <laughs> and I hope you have nice days, weeks. Let me know, as always, if you have any questions.